Okay, I'm going to continue here. With my book, um, oh shoot, I'll turn this thing off. Hi. Anyway, I'll be uh, focusing my attention more on this camera than yours because uh, I have a feeling this is going to be pulled off because um, when you expose Islam on the internet, it's called the uh, slandering the prophet of Islam to uh, most Muslims and Obama said there must be no future for those who do that sort of thing. So I've got to make this my main focus. Sorry about that. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Huh. I think I'm still talking to the atheist. All right. That is my perception based on logic. Uh, from what I have read, studied, blah, blah, blah. Logic is not good. It doesn't mean it's uh, spot on to me or others. And I bet you're right. Who truly knows? Who, who truly knows? If he married the rich older woman and ran her business, traveled, uh, one would have to assume that uh, he had the basic ability to ability to uh, read and write uh, that's going to uh, those who uh, say one of his wives was six when uh, promised and married at nine and who's to say that is accurate if it's not accurate then you should you should uh, if it's not accurate then there should uh, be no Sunni Muslims for the hadith says that Aisha was nine when Mo parked her it's a he authentic hadith uh, and that's where it comes from. There are no absolutes. So you are an atheist. Really, even though even though one could uh, say no is an absolute. As for the earth uh, spread out on the back of a giant fish, uh, he was right or was he? Are you saying there was a possibility that earth was and that, uh, that, the, time, that the time the earth was uh, spread out on the back of a giant fish but is no longer on that giant fish? <laughs> I'm beginning to think this guy is maybe a Muslim after all. If the world is flat, oblong, uh, that statement would have some logic, as does the four angels in the four corners of the earth, with Jerusalem being center to the four corners. Is that the whole earth or the harats, which can mean the land, you know, promised land? Okay. And he did respond back after that. Okay. Oh, you know, since this just jumps right in here, I don't want to. I don't feel like reading it because it's going to make it's going to make things a little more a little confusing here. So, oh, you know, there's Arabic thrown in here, so that might mean something. So, I just might need to look at it after all. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I say, to me, ISIS, our group of Muslims who see the Quran the way I do, uh, but don't see the stupid things. I also see the Quran saying, embryos as blood clots, bones of a penis forming first, uh, forming first the earth uh, being flat, the sun the moon orbiting the earth. Uh. So I hope, I, I, I hope, guide your, oh, you know, I don't want to read this, this is too confusing too confusing here. Okay, now this guy is going to be good. Yeah. But, you know, I just might read that, that Muslim's words. Uh, but I don't think I... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't respond to them. And since I don't respond to them, I'm not going to read them. Okay, the Muslim said, uh, funny, don't, you know, for one thing, <laughs> not only do I not respond to them, I don't even know what uh, he, he is or she is saying. So, I think I'll just skip them. Yeah, but they're in the book. They're in the book. So, if you want to read what he or she says, go for it. Yeah. Okay. 
And what's coming up looks like a bunch of repeats. So this should go by pretty fast here. A lot of repeats means I'll be skipping. Yeah. I'll just say the uh, same thing as before. I wait. That way it goes by faster. And I don't waste anyone's time, including my own. Yeah. Okay, I'm almost done. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. Yeah. His name is Ah or Achman. Achman, Achman, coming up. He is coming up. And I take him on later I take him on three times in this thing. He's like uh I go round one, round two with him. And round three. Alright. Muslims never attacked anyone unless they were attacked or a war was getting ready to attack them. What if Sharia has been implemented and non-Muslims don't pay, don't want to pay jizzy tax until they are forced um, to have their patities in the air under? Oh, excuse me. What if Sharia has been imposed and non-Muslims don't want to pay a high tax until they are forced to have their patities in the air under the threat of death? If a non-Muslim refuses to pay uh, such a high tax, jizya, uh, due to think it's going to. Uh, Satanic God, isn't that con isn't that considered being at war with Muslims? But you're so far gone, and the real typical hateful idiot. Well, again, what if Sharia has been implemented, and now Muslims don't want to pay a high tax until they are forced uh, to have their patties in the air under the threat of death? That'd be Quran nine one through five and twenty nine. Quran nine twenty nine. If non Muslims refuse to pay a, such a high tax, jizya. Isn't that considered being at war against Muslims? And what if things were reversed and Muslims had to pay a high tax jizya until, until Muslims confessed that Allah was more than one, that Mickey Mouse was the one true God, that Goofy was Mickey's messenger, and instead of bowing to Mecca five times a day, you had to have your patootie up in the air, bowing down to Disneyland in California. Or if you didn't, after the sacred months were passed of that Mickey Mouse religion, you could be killed for not paying a high tax, for not totally submitting to Mickey Mouse. Would you, oh slave of the best of deceivers, have a problem with that? ISIS to Muslims? Fundamentalist Muslims, yes. Yes. What? Aren't you to lie, do to Kia, and, and say they actually are Jews trying to make Islamic evil instead? I can say how you're so well informed. Be because I stood the correct and he said informed. <laughs> Who are you trying to fool? Idiots like you? Anyone can read Quran 9, 1 through 5, 20, 9, 29, uh, 38, 39, and 111 to see if I am an idiot, can't they? Don't worry, they are already idiots. They don't need your help. Well, we'll let uh, idiots read Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 38, 39, uh, and 111, Quran 9, 11, uh, to see if I am an idiot and see if Isis and Boko Haram aren't following those scriptures. Won't we? Even the village idiot knows who Isis are. Laughing out loud. Don't tell me. They aren't Muslims following and believing in Quran 9, 111. Uh, they're not believing in Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 38, 39, and 111. They are what? Jews? Jews trying to make Islam look evil and stupid? True? Don't you know that ISIS stands for Israeli Secret Intelligence Services? You moron! <laughs> if you believe Muhammad was right about the earth being spread out on the back of a giant fish, None called none. I guess I I guess I could see why you think that it was that it stands for that. Guess what? If you're actually right, you need to tell Muslims this, since so many of them are joining ISIS as they believe they are fulfilling and following Quran nine one through five twenty nine thirty eight thirty nine and one hundred eleven. Their leader is Shimon 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 Elliot of Al Masad Agent. <laughs> you're so funny. Well, again, you have true. You need to tell Muslims this, since so many of them are joining ISIS as they believe they are fulfilling and following Quran 9, 1-5, 29, 38, 39, 111, that get Muslims to go to go forth and uh, kill and be killed in the cause of Allah, like ISIS is doing. Jew-controlled or fundamentalist Muslim-controlled, they are doing that. 
I think I might have to uh, see here. Oh, I've got about two more minutes here to go. Okay. You must be a Zionist to believe that ISIS has anything to do with Islam or Muslims. Left in the book. All you have to do is study the Quran. And not even have to study it that hard to see how Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 38, 39, 111. Also, the first part of Quran 4, 24 created ISIS. I'm laughing my head off. What a jerk. Ha ha ha. Again, all you have to do is study the Quran. And not even study that hard to see those scriptures. Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 30, 38, 39, 111. And also the first part of Quran 4, 24 and how it created ISIS. The first part of Quran 4, 24 and how it's reported, handed down in Sahih Authentic Muslim 8, 34, 32. And especially the Sunan Abu Dawud, Abi, Abu, Abi, Abi Dawud 2, 20, 50. Make it so Muslims who join ISIS can rape captured women and girls. Girls, Quran uh, 65, 4. For little girls, uh, being that you can divorce a little girl, he hasn't even had a period yet. And Boko Haram seems to really have the first part of Quran uh, 424 in mind, being that they violate Christian Nigerian girls a lot. Yeah, a lot. Just like Al Qaeda is also Muslim, right? Ha 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 ha. Exactly, Al Qaeda is very Muslim, almost as much as ISIS, but ISIS is pure Islam taking to its logical conclusion. You can laugh all you want, but Quran 9, 1-5, 29, 38, 39, and 111. Also, the first part of Quran 4, 24, created ISIS, allowing it to have license to, to uh, license the evil that it does and has done. Yeah, that it, evil that it has done. As far as burning people to death, that allowance comes from the Hadith when Muhammad burned a Jewish man named Kanana, to find out where he was hiding money, which is very ISIS, if you ask me. You sound like a real dummy. <laughs> Wake up, man. The world has moved on since your ISIS of Qatar, Boko Haram, and all the so-called terrorist groups have been exposed laughing out loud. No, I think they are starting to wake up as well, more and more. I'm starting to see people like me showing from the Quran why ISIS is whether or not anything good will come about from it, I doubt it. For we have a Muslim Brotherhood member as president in the White House. And I think I'll end it here. Bye.